Hey, what's happening guys? In a previous video, you saw me buy some uh, electronics from Timu. This is one of them. This is a little uh, TDA 2030 amplifier module. A little mono amp, but it, it is uh, quite powerful. And uh, the reason I got this is I saw a YouTube video from a guy named Mark Gutierrez called $1 Amazon Fuzz, where he used a little LM386 module off of Amazon to create a uh, fuzz effect for a uh, guitar. So I thought that was really cool. I never thought about doing anything like that. And uh, I mean, it makes sense. The fuzz is simply clipping the guitar signal, giving it that, that noisy um, sound. So all we need to do is drive one of these little amplifiers into its clipping range. And, you know, theoretically, we should have some fuzz. So on the TDA-23, the reason I, I want to get it all on board is so that I don't have to <laughs> do all of this. So if you look here, this is uh, our input side. And you can see we have VCC in. So VCC, you know, of course, be our, our, our voltage supply. In will be our signal, and then we have two uh, grounds here. One for the uh, signal ground, one for the power ground. I'll have to check and see if they are uh, They're both... Um, shorted together then over here on the other side we have our output and ground and then we have a little uh trimmer pod here looks like we have an led to uh let us know if there's any sound so first of all while i'm getting all this ready let me show you a little clip of this video from mark gutierrez <laughs> Okay, here's our data sheet for the TDA 2030A 18 watt hi fi amplifier 35 watt driver. So, output power is 18 watts at 16 volts. And we're going to run that at about 9 volts. So, maybe we're looking at 6 or 7 watts. It's not going to be a linear drop. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Maximum 22 volts, like so. We're gonna run it okay. So it'll run on a minimum of six volts. We're gonna run it about nine volts. And hopefully, hopefully, so we're gonna like distortion. One kilohertz range. Looks like damn. Looks like you might have to get nine, nine, ten watts out of it to get it to distort. We'll see. We will see. That's why we got uh, those PAM amps as well. This this one might have too much headroom for what we want. All right. So you see how it sounded for Mark Gutierrez. I think we've got it wired up here. This is our input over here. I'm sorry, this is our output. Jesus, well, this is our input over here on this side. And I have my Telecaster here. The Telecaster is plugged directly into that Behringer audio interface directly under the right-hand corner of the computer. Okay? So it is straight through like here's a sound no distortion whatsoever right all right so let's hook it up first thing i'm going to do is unplug the guitar and turn down the audio interface so we don't have a bunch of plosives going on. So output. And 
input. Then this plugs into the guitar over here. And we'll power it up. Drawing uh, 24 milliwatt, milliamps. Let's see if we, uh... oh yeah. So it makes noise, I wouldn't call that fuzz. Let's see. Remember I said it might have too much headroom. Let's try adjusting. The gain. Let's see if we get anything now. That just made it cleaner. So that is obviously the wrong direction. Try it again. It makes fuzz, yes. Uh, it really doesn't have a lot of headroom. I think I'm going to try it with the other one. We'll see how that works, and we'll decide which one is better after that. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, so here is me working on the second version, the PAM version. And the reason, the reason I have sped this up so much is because... Uh, it didn't work. I'm not sure why it didn't work. It might be some have something to do with the way I tried to make it into a two-stage fuzz. But uh, I wired everything up. I put it all together. I applied 5 volts. The uh, PAM80, whatever it is, is only good up to 5.5 uh, volts. And in the end, we just really didn't get anything out of it. So, I don't know. Maybe it just don't work for this. Or maybe it's just me. Hard to say, but either way, it didn't work. So for now, the TDA 2030 seems to be the best bet. Although, if we were to believe Gutierrez's video, and I have no reason not to, the 386 is probably the best way. I didn't buy one because they didn't have any available on Amazon at the time, but I will, uh, I will look for one. And we'll try this again in the future. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then I hope you'll give me... A thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace